Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Maz back again with another video for you guys. Sorry I've been gone for a while. I've been anticipating this uh, new product we have coming out today. And I'm really excited to get my hands on this thing once again. I know I haven't been making a bunch of videos, but I got a lot coming up. I've uh, been trying to knock out a lot of things um, that's hard to work on on camera. But I appreciate you guys always uh, supporting. So this morning, uh, November 11th, the TRX4M officially dropped. No people got some early. Congratulations to them. Uh, my man at Matt Anderson at Anderson RC, I would never put him in that position uh, to get rid of a truck early. You know, that's not my way. Uh, this is his livelihood. I appreciate him always taking care of me. But today is the official release of the Traxxas TRX4M. So, like I said, I do all my shopping at Anderson RC. If you're local to the triad of North Carolina, it's in Thomasville, North Carolina. Go down there, tell Matt that Maz sent you. Um, he'll take care of you. He's got a ton of stuff in stock. I always try to shout him out. Um, really cool dude, down to earth. As always, Matt, I appreciate you. But want to get straight into this. Uh, he told me this one was a special one that he had for me. So I'm not even sure what's in the box, but from the outside, looks like it is a white one. Um, I did go with the Bronco. I had initially went to get the Defender, but he had not received Defenders yet. And I'm kind of excited about the Bronco. I feel like it's a little played out, but I think it looks good in this uh, size. And... I saw the lights and everything down there while I was chilling and the light kit's pretty cool and all that stuff. We're going to do some more of that stuff to the body. Um, but let's get right into it. Let's see what comes inside this bad boy. Um, we'll go ahead and get this guy opened up. Get that Ontario rat in there, you know, <clears throat> and see what we got in this box here. Packaging looks to be pretty standard. Looks like you got your foam surround in there. And right off gate, looks like comes with maybe some warranty information. You know, Trax is all really good with their, um, manuals and whatnot and their paperwork so it looks like it even has maybe like a breakdown of parts and all that stuff on this white paper but comes with a little couple tools some adjustment uh for your shocks and a four-way wrench so that's what comes in there also right out the box 750 milliamp uh, battery. This is a 2S. Um, really nice packaging. Comes in a nice box. Get that guy out of there. So nice beefy pack. That's what she said. I'm sure y'all missed that's what she said. Um, they made sure to put this tag on there to let you know not to uh, take it off there. Um, so we went ahead and got rid of that thing. Hell with that. That's a little overkill. Uh, man, that's a big ass tag. Anyway, thing about whipped me like a part-time job too. So nice battery. That is a, a really good plus. I'm sure you get some good runtime out of this battery. Um, but I like that. Comes with their charger. Oh. Those tags, man. I don't know why. They want all the information on that joint. They want to make sure you know whatever languages those are. They want to make sure you know they're there. Oh, it's a fire hazard. We don't need to know about that. We don't need to know about that. This ain't no fire hazard. Um, comes with the TQ that top qualifier transmitter 
Um, we may use this thing, I don't know. It's a, uh, feels about like, a, I don't know, cheapest controller you could ever have on the market. I'm sure it's good, it does what it's supposed to. Um, I don't really mess with these, so I always get rid of them. But either way, you got a nice controller that comes with it. Um, has a little uh, light, one little button here for set and your steering trim. Really, uh, really easy to operate. Nice little foam wheel though. I do like that foam, it's a nice soft foam. A little different, don't really have any uh, roundness to it. It's all just a real hard edge, but not bad. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of this guy. We'll get it out of the box. Move this joint out the way. We don't need you no more. So, like I said, he set me up with a special one. We got that white edition with those Maz Design sample wheels, those machetes. So, a little bit of foam there out the box. Appreciate you. Set me up with that Maz Designs limited edition joint. So, I got you down to ground level here. We'll take a look at this uh, sweet Bronco. Like I said, the paint don't really hit on much for me. It just looks like polished plastic, raw plastic. I'm sure the white body probably is something like that. It may be painted, I don't know. Um, I did go with the white because if I decide to go back and paint it, I don't really have to paint over another color or anything. I can start from scratch. Um, but y'all know how my paint jobs go. They take for damn ever. So we'll probably just leave this thing as is until it gets a little beat up. But I did go ahead and put on those Maz Designs machetes. That's what we're calling them for now. I don't know if that'll stick, but that is the directional 10 spoke contrast cut with that wave. Got that wave. Sorry about the camera adjusting. Um, but went ahead and put those on there with the Enjora all-terrain all-terrains baby you know they like to name their wheels something good their tires something good so that's some all-terrain all-terrains kind of looks like a tear grappler or something so i thought that would look good on the bronco um i dig the look of it it looks cool i do like the suspension the suspension is really soft though i will tell you that it is super soft which is cool um i kind of want to go into this thing as like a scale vehicle so the i want to do a little bit of stuff to it i do like that the windows are tinted um the body itself overall is a nice body the headlights very nice i'm going to get the headlights to go on it tail lights very nice that licensed body with the bronco like the tire carrier might do a delete on that tire carrier though um the body itself comes off with two clips you have one here and you have one on the back. I do like the way this comes off, especially after the debacle of the FCX24, the way that that body goes together. It's really cheesy. This is really nice. I know some people said they had to like heat theirs and bend them a little bit. Mine seems to hold really good. Um, the body is all, uh, the body has all the internal bracing and all that for the clipless uh mount so overall the body is nice i would probably go and paint that body and make it look real good um versus it kind of just looks like raw plastic right now um getting into the meat and potatoes we should say of the truck we got a nice big 180 titan motor on there 87 turn reverse rotation joint you know that's what you're looking for, that reverse rotation. Right off gate, that little servo is completely different than anything I've seen on a Axie or anything like that. But pretty sweet little setup. Put a RS100 in that joint, see what we can do with it. Um, I do like how the shock towers are. Um, that's pretty cool how they bolt on. The shocks look really robust. I know when the video initially came out, people were saying that those shocks look terrible that may have been just a test vehicle they had or something these shocks are like buttery smooth to me i don't know if you can oil fill them i haven't went that far i think they are oil filled um 
you know, just a big dumb redneck from North Carolina. I know y'all, I hadn't been around, so y'all don't know that. But, um, you know, everything looks very robust on it. The ESC, hopefully that thing don't turn into a fire hazard. Uh, but you know me, I'm not going to be sticking around with those electronics too long. So it does come four linked front and rear. Very nice. They are plastic links from the factory, but they are still pretty robust. I know that I keep saying that word. That's my word of the day. Um, ring and pinion on the gear sets. Uh, nice little universals or uh, nice little universal joints for the drive shafts. CVs up front. Sorry, my camera keeps switching. CVs up front. Get a nice steering radius, turning radius right out the gate. Look at that. Haven't touched it. This is right out the box. I take that back. I have touched it. I put wheels on it. Um, I will say going into the wheels, um, let's see if we covered everything. So yeah, we got the ESC battery trays. Nice. Got a little strap on it. You know, uh, Rebox with the scrap. You know what I'm saying? Um, but overall, it's a very nice truck. I can't hate on it at all. I do like the suspension feel. I like the four link. I like the movement that it gives. Very smooth. Um, but getting into the wheels. So on the Maz wheels, I try to maximize spoke um, length as much as possible to where you get some, you know, Enjoras. I'm not knocking them, but Enjoras or a lot of other wheels. They got a big head, they got a big hub on the back of them. Takes up a lot of space of the spokes. I also taper mine down very tight and they were made for the SCX24. Only thing I have to do to make them fit this is spin the nuts around backwards to put the hex at the top and the rounded off acorn part at the bottom and they fit perfect. So all your Maz wheels will bolt on. You'll probably have to flip them until we get some, uh, I'm sure old Jeff and Enjora or somebody like that's already working on some wheel nuts for them or some extended wheel nuts, but works out really good. The only thing that I did find is that the factory nuts didn't seem to work. I didn't pull the tool that I had out of the um, box. I'm sure it works, but this tool that I had laying around, and I don't know, this may be an FCX tool now that I think about it. This tool didn't work. A five millimeter socket did work. So I just flipped them around. This is not a wheel video, but just so you know, Maz Double Stars in black are on line right now, ready for purchase. So you want to hook your Bronco or your Defender up with some all black wheels with some scale hardware. That's a good option. But it does have some lights in the bumper. That's the only lights that it comes with stock, some little LEDs. But I do dig, I saw it at the demo one, the light kit for the headlights and the taillights is sick. So we will be doing that. We will be putting some lights on this guy. I just wanted to do a quick video um, on the overall of what I thought right out of the box. Like I said, I do like it. With these 60 millimeter tires, you get a little bit of rub and stuff. So we may have to do a little trimmy trim on this body, you know, a little trimmy trim on the, on the fender flares or something, but we'll get all that taken care of. But as well with that body on there and look how quick and easy it goes on there. I do dig that. Um, you can see bottomed out. It's pretty much perfect. You get it. I think, well, I say that we may be clear, but I say when, yeah, when we flex it on one side, it just barely gets up in there. I think that'll be good though. That'll give us some scale stuff. You know, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. That's what old Harry said. So, um, either way, guys, appreciate y'all taking the time out of your day as always to take a look at these videos. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments, like, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.